Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 16th through the 22nd. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. So Pisces, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck along with the Angels of Abundance Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Alright, very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Swords. Alright, so you actually have a lot of characters here in this spread, Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with a lot of characters here this week. You might have a lot of people around you. The Queen of Swords can represent an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra person around you. That's very significant. For some of you, this could be your energy. Uh, the Queen of Swords, for me, represents that logical energy. Uh, she's someone who's, she's more of a serious character. She's incredibly decisive, so there could be some Pisces that maybe you're making a decision this week, but she's someone who's very focused, determined. And then the overall energy is the King of Cups, which some of you, this is your energy. You're coming up very much in your element, which is really good. You know, what's interesting is we have that Queen of Swords here as well. So the King of Cups, obviously, you know, he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's more of an emotional being. The Queen of Swords, you know, she's really someone who's emotionally detached. But the King of, of Cups for me, you know, yes, he's an emotional being, but, you know, he's someone that on the surface, he plays it very cool. So he's someone who's very much in control of his emotions. So some of you, you know, this could be your energy, definitely. You know, you might be feeling very emotional on the inside for some of you, but, you know, you're not letting it show. You're definitely very calm and collected on the surface for some of you. Uh, there also could be some of you that you're very much in your head. You could be, you know, planning something, um, really focused on the details when it comes to a particular matter. Listen to your intuition. Follow your heart this week, definitely, with the King of Cups as the overall energy, especially around money matters. We're starting with the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new opportunity that's on its way, definitely, and some of you could be hearing something about this this week, but I think that you're in the process of manifesting this with the Ace of Pentacles and then the Seven of Pentacles here. This is something that maybe you've been working very hard on with the Seven of Pentacles. You know, this is you working incredibly hard, planting those seeds, but having to wait to reap those rewards from those seeds that you've planted. So this could be about a new job for some of you because, you know, with the Ace here, with the Ace and the Seven, uh, these add up to Eight. And the Eight of Pentacles for me and the Tarot can represent a new job, definitely. So some of you, this is about a new job. You're waiting on this blessing, this solid new beginning, this opportunity. So maybe some of you have been trying to land a new job waiting on some sort of opportunity or offer, waiting on news about this Ace of Pentacles. I definitely see some of you waiting here. And maybe even um, this week you could be figuring out or determining whether or not you even want to continue down a particular path. And that could be why we have this Queen of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Um, like I mentioned, she's someone who's very decisive, and I think that some of you, you know you've been working towards something, but maybe you've had to wait, and you just feel as though you're not getting anywhere. So this is you definitely determining whether or not you want to continue um, with whatever this is. And now you could be waiting on this King of Wands. You could be waiting on a Sagittarius Leo or Aries. Now, if this isn't on the work front, this could always be your boss. Uh, this could be a person you're waiting on. If it's not on the work front, I mean, this could be family related. This could be, you know, romantic for some of you. Maybe you've invested in someone. You've been trying to get to know this person. Maybe you've been dating them, but nothing has like come of it, you know. So maybe some of you are waiting on this person um, to get into a relationship with you or something like that like that to take it to the next level we have this king of wands and then the knight of cups underneath him maybe you've been trying to get to know someone and you're waiting for this person to ask you out or you're waiting to to ask them out with the knight of cups here
there is definitely an element of waiting. Um, and don't shoot the messenger, Pisces. I don't make the rules. I'm just the messenger. Um, we have that seven of pentacles and then I have the hanged man, which can represent that period of suspense, that limbo period. And, and it also can represent some of you feeling stuck, feeling stuck, feeling as though something's not moving forward. There's definitely this element of holding out and having to wait here with the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Definitely, for some of you, there's this element of having to be patient. Now, Fours speak about your foundation, your security, your stability. So... I'm getting business more than anything else. I think that this is a money matter. This is your finances. Could be a home for some of you. You're waiting on this blessing, this Ace of Pentacles to come in. And if it's a new job, it could be a job that you're going to work at for many, many years to come. Uh, this could be a job that really makes you feel you know, financially secure. It could be a well-paying position for some of you. But I feel like you're waiting on this. You're working very hard even maybe waiting to move up within the company that you already work for, for some of you. Now, maybe there are some Pisceans that you could could have been unemployed for a little while. Uh, maybe you're un unemployed and you're, you're trying to land a new job. That could be the case for some of you as well. Now, you do have the Queen of Pentacles here. So you have a couple of kings, a knight, and then you have two queens. So you could be dealing with a lot of people, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could be your boss. The, the, the King of Wands could be your boss. You could be waiting on information, waiting on news from this person. Or this is maybe you waiting on that job, waiting to move up within the company that you work for. But I feel like the deck that I'm using this week uh, for the additional guidance card, the Angel of, Angels of Abundance deck, I feel like this is this is definitely um, needed for you guys. It's a great deck to use for you guys because I feel like the majority of you that I'm reading for Pisces, it's definitely work related. Uh, additional guidance for Pisces for this upcoming week. What else does Pisces need to know? For some of you, there could be an opportunity, there could be news, there could be an offer that's coming in this week, and you might need to make a decision about this. So when it comes to this opportunity, really listen to your intuition. For some of you with this combination, needing to maybe go off and, and, and spend some time alone. For those of you that have an opportunity that's coming in this week, I feel like some of you don't turn it down definitely go off and think about it. Okay, so we have organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. I feel like this resonates very much with the spread Pisces. You have the hanged man here with the King of Cups as the overall energy, the Seven of Pentacles. You know, I feel like some of you definitely organizing, maybe re-strategizing. Getting more in balance, you know, for some of you, that's what's needed, that's what's gonna help you. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Which I, I definitely see you doing that. And I think that some of you have been working towards uh, a new beginning here, something new in your life and maybe getting more organized or maybe even simply looking at something from a different perspective could be something that helps you. Going back to the drawing board, figuring things out, um, maybe doing even doing things a little bit differently, um, being open to doing things a little bit differently could, could be the answer for some of you. 
okay Pisces so I hope that you found this reading helpful if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and if you are interested in receiving a private reading please check out northeasttarot.com I wish you a wonderful week take care